Hi, this tutorial is about the pen and node tool. Let's get straight into it. So, let's grab the pen tool here in the tools panel. I'm just gonna go to stroke and increase the width so you can see what I'm doing. We'll start with straight lines. Click where you want to start the line, and click where you want to end the line. As you continue clicking, you'll be making more lines. Now, if you want to make a straight line across, hold shift as you place your next line. Holding shift will allow you to make your lines in 45 degree segments. Right now we can freely move the next point where we want it. But by toggling the align to nodes button, we can make this line the same length as the last one, by aligning the nodes. Then we can close this. Nodes are these points. Now let's move on to a curved line. Before you let go of the end point, drag it out and your line will curve. Now, if we take the node tool and click this node, you can drag the handle to adjust your curve. And we can drag out the second node too. Another way to make this curve, when placing the first node, drag it out. As you drag, focus on this node going in the direction of your mouse. This is the direction that your curve will follow. Now as you place and drag the next node, you will see the effects. Instead of keep going between the pen and node tool, you can hold control while the pen tool is selected, to use the node tool and adjust the shape. Then you can go back to drawing your curve. Let's master our pen skills with a real example. To practice, we'll be tracing the outline of this parrot. You can download this image from the description box and practice along. So first I'll just lower the opacity so we can see what we're doing. Now lock the image into place so we can draw over it and it won't be moved. Now, let's get the pen tool, and we'll start from the tip of the beak. The handle that I'm dragging out, I'm pulling it in the direction of the beak outline, so when I place the next point, we have the perfect shaped curve. I'll place my next point here. Now when I drag the handles out, the top handle is in the right position, but I want this bottom one to go right. To do this, hold, alt, and the handles will separate. Now we'll place our next point here. Some of the curves here have gone wrong, so we'll just hold control and adjust the handles. Now I'll place the next point. And then, end the curve. That went a bit too far, so we'll just grab the node tool and make any adjustments. To constrain the curve so you don't lose the shape, hold shift as you drag. I'm just gonna adjust these points. Turn off align to nodes to stop this snapping. Now let's move on to the bottom beak. To place the next starting point on this line, toggle this snap button. And now we can place our new shape right next to the last one. To use this, we have to have the shape that we want to snap selected. Now the head. Hold Alt to go a different direction. Hold Control to use the node tool. If you wanted to see what your next line will look like, you can toggle the rubber band mode. Now we want to place the end point on the curve of the beak. So hold shift to select both the shapes. And now we can finish this off. Okay, let's try a different technique on the tail. I want the tail to be separate from the body, so it's okay if it overlaps, I'll just chuck it underneath afterwards. Instead of dragging the handles out, I'm just gonna place some points around the tail, and make sure I close it. Now I'll go in with my node tool, and drag the lines and make some adjustments. Let's practice the same technique with the feet.
And now, the wing. If we have a look, the stroke of the parrot's wing is thinner at the tips. To achieve this effect, go to the top here, then click the pressure bar. To keep both ends of the curve even, add a node in the middle of this line, then drag the end node down. For the eyes, let's use the ellipse tool. And finally, the nose. Now we can unlock the image and move it out the way. And we have our completed parrot. I hope this tutorial has helped you learn about the pen tool and node tool. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll be happy to help. Also look out for the next video where we will be exploring the gradient tool.